your girl Pink Lip Ranger and I have a special guest with me, my crush, Julie. How are we doing today? Today we're going to play... I guess there will be questions. How's that sound? No, it's never have I ever. Never have I ever. Yeah, I almost forgot the name of the game. We have these little signs, nifty signs, and I have a set of questions that I made up, and he has five questions that he made up. I'm a bit nervous. Uh, you want to go first? Um, yeah, definitely. I'll go first. Um, question number one is going to be a very interesting one, but uh, it is never have I ever cheated on a spouse. And my answer is... Oh yeah, I have not. <laughs> I have not because I have never been married, so I don't have a spouse. <laughs> they have my answer to the question. <laughs> Booyah, there you go. She went behind. She went a okay. little quick, but no, whatever. <laughs> now, we talk about something else. Revenge. My question is, never have I ever had an open relationship? I have not. Mm. <laughs> it was unintentionally open and um, it became intentionally open then it became intentionally open so moving on potentially 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 that's all I hear <laughs> it happened <laughs> all right next question so it is ooh, never have I ever received money for sexual favors and I also have not done this you have a lot of have not but I have one too okay so you're not alone on that one I have never done that now if you want to give me stuff after like food that's perfectly fine like, okay so not. should we classify or clarify what's receiving funds as far as sex like look if we have sex and like if I buy you a purse afterwards like is that the same, Is that the same thing? No, like, I don't think so. It's just like, okay, well, dang, you deserve it, baby. Like, oh, like, y'all want to be my sugar daddy or something, or something like that, right. baby? Okay, okay. like, <laughs> sugar daddy is basically paying for sex. It's if you receive the payments before sex, not after. Yes, I never thought about it that way. Okay, okay. so my next question is, never have I ever... Never have I ever experimented to see my sexual orientation. Ooh, that is a very interesting one, but I have not. Regardless, I know where I am. Straight arrow. You should be close to your friends if you OVN. Engaging is on my channel. Okay, I think a lot of girls have, but I definitely, growing up, had a. Now, not romantically, but sexually. And I've experimented a few things. I'd rather be romantically involved with guys. And sexually. So that's that. Um, not worried about it. I mean, everyone, every girl I believe in this century has had some kind of experimental phase. Um, whether it was elementary school or even growing up, I feel like everyone's had that kind of transition. Guys, not 100% sure. I hope not. Um, <laughs> I have not known any guys that. that has done so and if they uh, have they're in the uh, transitioning period as we speak to say the least so yeah yeah <laughs> this question alright so it is ooh never have I ever faked an orgasm because the person uh, had a bad body odor or the person just wasn't hitting the spot Oh, I definitely have, unfortunately. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I have too. I think a lot of girls know what I mean. Yeah. Because, I mean, sometimes it'd be dry and then they don't realize it's dry and they keep going and be like, okay, let me fake this orgasm so they can stop. Oh. It's dry. You don't get it? Okay, all right. We're done here. We're done. Wow, because of dryness. <laughs> because I'm dry. I was never, you never did the foreplay. You out there. Oh, wow. It's all about the foreplay, guys. Foreplay. The thing is, if you're gonna, if you're gonna like do it, you know what I mean, and like I gave you a warning, I feel like you know you should like prepare yourself a little bit. Maybe uh, maybe shower 
do a little wipe off. You know, there's, there's wet wipes, there's baby wipes. I just feel like, you know, you should do that before you engage. Just saying. If it smells, I will always have uh, fake the orgasm because I just can't tolerate that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, and that's hard for a guy to fake an orgasm because it's they ejaculate. Fake. And that's apparent. So, it's wow. Blue balls, guys. It is very hard to do, but if we do it, it means something's going on down I there. I've never heard of a guy faking an orgasm <laughs> ever. Like, what? Wow, now I learned something new. Okay, next question. So childish. Never have I ever finished a whole jawbreaker. Um, I have not ever finished a jawbreaker why not i'm trying to remember if i even ever ate one, ate one you yeah. know like indulged in eating dog jawbreakers because it's just like it's there you know what i mean it's like oh. i feel like a squirrel with a nut you know what i mean mm -hmm. not that kind of like guys having that a jawbreaker and singe in there Ed and Nate style, but definitely yeah. have not. That is the only reason why I ever wanted to eat one of those. I have not as well finished a whole jawbreaker because I never thought they were appetizing. The only reason why I wanted to eat it because Ed and Nettie, but I realized that they are totally gross. I don't get the point of eating it. Why, who wants to break their jaw? Trash. Next question is on you. All right. Um, never have I ever did drugs. And we're not talking about regular drugs. Uh, marijuana, first of all, is not a drug. It's a plant. Drugs, I mean, is like handheld. I mean, like man-made. I'm sorry. Man-made. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like pills or something that maybe the doctor will prescribe or something that you have to like go out and get. Those things. Those are the drugs I'm talking about. I definitely have. Have. Um... Besides marijuana, I've tried once. First day I felt great. I wanted to clean and it was horrible. I was scared. I thought I was gonna die. I was high for like days. My heart was beating fast. I thought I was having a heart attack. I will never do it again. It was horrible. I, I, I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it. See the drugs that I've done. You know, mushrooms and so <laughs> You gotta live life, you know what I mean? I've been to California, so I've experienced things. We'll just leave it at we'll leave it at four. And um yeah. No, I don't want uh, my kids or anything uh you know, hey Jaden, relax, alright? Kids is... I am blurting <sighs> all the names of what he said out. You will know nothing. You will know that we have and you won't know what it is. I, I have not. I have not. <laughs> okay, next question. Never have I ever driven drunk. Ooh, I have on me oh. many occasions. <laughs> I wish I could multiply this guy. <laughs> we both have, all right? <laughs> He's guilty, I'm guilty, and it's like we live, so. Not incriminating myself or anything because that's definitely against the law. We might cut that out. I've done other things driving drunk too, you wouldn't believe. Driving drunk is not a good thing, guys. Don't ever do it. Safe driving, buckle the seatbelt. Uber. Lift. Um, but at the same time, they don't want drunk people in the back of their thing because they want to feel responsible for you. So be careful. Have a friend bring you home. Bottle of water. Always helps. Have a bottle of water. And <laughs> if you have to and you have your own car, go sleep in the back. Throw the keys in the back. Make sure it's not near the front so you won't get, you know, police dealing with you and whatnot. All right. My question. So... Ooh, never have I ever had sex in a public place. I definitely have. <laughs> Living life, guys. <laughs> All right, natural nubians is normal, it's hot in here. okay? I'm seeing. It's hot in here. I'm just called sex. The public place. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, I won't name the place or places. I've but been multiple. It has happened. I can say the same. Um, definitely have been a globe trotter in that aspect. Keep that between me and you, you and me. There we go. Yeah. Have. Have. Of course. Have. <laughs> I don't have. Okay, my next question is, never have I ever said I love you and didn't mean it. Ooh, Ooh I think we all have. 
Uh, yeah, I definitely uh -huh. have. I'm not gonna name the people or person that I said this to, so I'm just going to uh -huh. plead the fifth. You're just gonna say have and sorry for doing that to whomever you think you are. Maybe you know yourself. Doesn't matter anymore because I'm sure it's in the past. We're, we're here now. <laughs> All right, so the next question is never have I ever dated a close friend's ex i mean so just someone in your circle or you know someone you consider a best friend or maybe even a close relative uh -huh. i feel an answer coming up I, I don't know if i have not done that Ooh. See, now yeah. I'm bringing the skeletons out the closet because <laughs> I have, but there's a reason. My best friend that I know since the sixth grade, I don't know, for some reason we end up dating the same guys and sometimes I wouldn't even know until after she's like, girl, I know about him, I dated him, I'm like, what? Why didn't you tell me? She's like, I'll let you try him out. But it just was coincidence and one time she actually allowed me to date somebody that she liked, that she kept denying that she liked him. And um, yeah, that happened, it happened. Yeah, and we're still friends. <laughs> that is it for today, guys. Oh my gosh, that was a bit intense. Um, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, put on your post notifications, leave a like, and comment. And remember, the rule of thumb, lots of lip chat. Have not and have is done. What, what are we going to do with these? Uh, we must recycle these songs. We gotta get these another time. Definitely. Yeah. I said I'd give it lots of lip chat. I said I'd give it, I'd give it that whoa. I said I'd give it lots of lip chat.